All right, it's time for yet another cup of Linux quickie, and this is big news. All right, apparently a new Linux virus has been discovered by uh, Russian, uh, the, the Russian Dr. Webb, uh, who uh, makes an antivirus system for Linux devices. And uh, it appears we have a new form of malware um, made specifically for Linux. All right. Um, this is comprised of, comprised of over a thousand lines of code, and it's called Linux uh, Bitcoin Mine 174. All right. And um, as the name suggests, it is malware designed to mine cryptocurrency. It also shuts off other uh, competing cryptocurrency miners in favor of itself. Now, what makes this even more malicious is that um, it's using uh, something called Dirty Cow, which um, is basically sniffing through your system, trying to find a way to obtain root access so that it can obviously install more malware on your computer. All right. And um, also what this does is uh, it'll take down any antivirus processes that you already have installed on your machine. And these are free and open source ones like uh, SafeDog, Aegis, uh, Yunso, uh, Clam, TK, Avast, AVG, um, Dr. Webb, who discovered this, and a bunch of other ones, okay? Now, um, it was suggested by uh, Crimson on the couple of Linux forum that everybody uh, considers giving a try to... Um, uh, what is that? Oh, Sophos. Okay. Now, um, their sign-up process is kind of wonky. You know, to, you know... Yeah, he's saying that, uh, that, the, that he's got an issue with that. But I mentioned that Bitdefender is an excellent option if you're running Linux. And guess what? It doesn't cost you anything to use it. Uh, Bitdefender is... Um, in my humble opinion, probably the best antivirus software you can get out there, bar none. You are using Linux. They're going to let you have it for free. And all you have to do is register for it. Okay, You just point your web browser to bitdefender.com slash site slash products with a capital P and then slash capital S scanner Capital L license, one word. Scanner license with the uh, S and scanner, capital L. All right, here's the page. You fill out this form, you give them your email address. You don't have to give them your phone number, but they will want to know what country you're in. All right, no big deal. Tell them you're not a robot, and they will email you a license code good for one year. That means you have to register this every year, but not a problem. Hey, it's free, right? Okay, and in that email, they'll send you a link to some files that you can download. Now, don't scoff at this. They, you know, the the uh, the most recent packages they have it in 32 and 64 bit. These were released in 2014, but the definitions are still kept up kept up to date. Okay. And uh, there are instructions on cupoflinux.com that will tell you how to install this. So I'll be sure to throw a link in the description, okay, so that you can get that information, okay? Uh, if we scroll down here, I put the instructions here. I have instructions for Manjaro users. If you're on uh, Ubuntu, um, it tells you how to run the uh, run files when you get them. Um, I've got instructions for uh, Ubuntu, RPM, and other distros. Um, I tried their um, their ipk.run file, and it worked on Manjaro, but really not necessary because all Arch and Manjaro derivatives can just use their favorite Pac-Man helper to uh, download it from the AUR. Personally, I prefer just going on the Arch uh, user repository page on the website, download the snapshot, extract it, and then run make package against it. And then I have the package uh, that I can use at any time, at a later time if I wish. So that's how I prefer to do it. And I think that's how they prefer you that it 
that too. So make sure that you protect yourself from this. Now, I'd realize that the uh, Linux community can be quite brilliant. They're probably going to have a patch if they don't already have it already um, for this malware, but you still want to make sure that you have a good piece of software installed. So I can't thank the Bitdefender team enough for providing this to the community. All right. Um, so that's all I have for that on today's Cup of Linux Quickie. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm still, uh, I haven't been releasing as quite as many uh, videos on Cup of Linux because, well, I'm working on this project that you see here. Uh, Distro Hunt um, is coming along quite well. I've got a bunch more distributions added to this, a bunch more keywords, um, and it's coming along quite beautifully. Uh, we've got distributions um, arranged by um, distribution family. I've got 57 distributions up here, and I'm hoping to have 100 up um, when I'm ready to uh, open up uh, submissions. Right now, uh, there are three types of uh, submission forms, but at this time, enrollment is closed. So if you come on this page and decide to uh, fill out one of these forms, it's going to get put aside until um, enrollment is open. So you're probably better off waiting until uh, I have that open up uh, to uh, accept submissions. But the site is coming along beautifully, and uh, but I still need your feedback. So um, please visit distrohunt.org, and then. Um, Look at the site, and then and then just uh, click the link up to the forum in the submission area. All right, that's the page where you can submit your feedback on the site or on that board. Tell me what features are missing. Tell me what kind of things you would like to see, and uh, I'll consider uh, adding them to Distro Hunt. Well, that's all I have um, for today's cup of Linux quickie. Um, as a reminder, please. Be excellent to somebody today, and always, we'll see you next time. Peace out.